Aaron Rodgers and the Packers are having a divorce and it's an ugly one. So far, Aaron Rodgers, a three-time MVP, holder of many franchise records, and a Super Bowl winning quarterback for the Packers, has had reports come out that say he doesn't want to return to the team, that he wouldn't return until the Packers fired their GM, told teammates that he does not plan on returning, and that he would rather retire than play with the Packers next season. How did we get to this point? Where the all-time great Packers quarterback and NFL legend Aaron Rodgers wants to leave Green Bay. To find this answer, we have to actually start all the way back to Aaron Rodgers draft night in 2005. That year's draft is famous for a few reasons, but mainly for what happened to Aaron Rodgers. Going into the draft, the number one overall pick was pretty much between him and Alex Smith. The 49ers surprisingly took Alex Smith, which then led Aaron Rodgers to free fall down draft picks, finally getting drafted with the 24th pick by the Green Bay Packers. That draft night left a pretty big chip on Aaron Rodgers' shoulders. How disappointed are you that you will not be a 49er? Not as disappointed as the 49ers will be that they didn't draft me. The most surprising part is that the 49ers offensive coordinator and a guy who helped make the decision to pick Alex Smith was Mike McCarthy. Then the very next season after that, the Packers hired Mike McCarthy as their head coach. It is wild that the Packers hired the man that passed on Aaron Rodgers. With that, it wasn't until September 8th, 2008 until Aaron Rodgers made his first start. We now have to jump all the way to 2017 when the Packers decided not to re-sign Jared Cook. He was a player that Aaron Rodgers really liked on the team. Then in the beginning of 2018, the Packers opted not to bring back Aaron Rodgers quarterback coach Alex Van Pelt. Aaron Rodgers expressed his opinion on the move on a radio show by saying, I thought this was an interesting change, really without consulting me. There is a close connection between a quarterback and a quarterback coach, and that was an interesting decision. 2018 continued the same way as the Packers chose not to resign reliable wide receiver Jordy Nelson. Following that, in December of 2018, the Packers finally fired Mike McCarthy, which ended the Rodgers McCarthy era for the Packers, which was an absolute mess to say the least. About a month later, Packers find his replacement with Matt LaFleur. Along with that, in the 2019 draft, the Packers chose to add to their defense with their first round pick rather than draft a weapon for Aaron Rodgers. June 16th, Aaron Rodgers expresses his support for wide receiver Jake Kumaro. Keep this in mind for later in the video as it is important. Then from around June 17th to September, there was a lot of confusion and rumors over who will control the Packers' new offense, LaFleur or Rodgers. Although it was ultimately settled when Matt LaFleur said that Aaron Rodgers had free range over the offense. Then the 2019 NFL season played out. The Packers finished with a 13-3 record, but at the start of 2020 in the NFC Championship, the 49ers ran through the Packers. Despite the outcome of the game, not a terrible result for the first year pair. All the Packers pretty much had to do was reload and add to their team to make a Super Bowl run. Then before the draft, Aaron Rodgers said that he would like the Packers to take a skill player in the first round. April 23rd, draft day. The Packers traded up and drafted Utah State quarterback Jordan Love. Adding on top of that, in an extremely stacked draft class, the Packers did not draft a single wide receiver. They did draft a running back with their second pick, but they already had a lot of depth in their running back room. Without any surprise, on May 15th, 2020, Aaron Rodgers expresses that he was less than satisfied with the Jordan Love draft pick. September 5th, Jake Kumaro, the wide receiver that Aaron Rodgers supported in 2019, gets released by the Packers. Then, fast forward through the 2020 NFL season, the Packers go 13-3 again. Unfortunately, similar to last year, the Packers started off 2021 really bad. For the second year in a row, Aaron Rodgers loses in the NFC Championship. This time, he lost against Tom Brady. This game shows the difference between a team going all-in on their quarterback for a Super Bowl and the other not doing it. In the press conference after the game, Aaron Rodgers shares his thoughts on his future with the Packers. There's a lot of guys' futures that are, you know, uncertain, you know, myself included. Uh, that's what's sad about it most. 
January 31st, the Los Angeles Rams make a run for Aaron Rodgers, although nothing ended up happening. March 14th, 2021, Packers extend Aaron Jones. Now, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but Packers extending Aaron Jones makes the AJ Dillon draft pick in 2020 look very bad. April 5th, Jeopardy airs and Aaron Rodgers gets trolled by a guest. Two day champion on the end. Scott, did you come up with the correct response? Who wanted to kick that field goal? <laughs> that is a great question. It should, be, should, be, should be correct, but uh, unfortunately for this, uh, this game today, that's incorrect. And finally, April 29th, Adam Shefford drops a bomb saying Aaron Rodgers wants out of Green Bay. Along with that, it comes out that the Packers releasing Jake Kumaro, the wide receiver that Aaron Rodgers liked, was the moment that the Packers and Rodgers' relationship died. Adding the very last thing, May 9th, 2021, the NFL removed Rodgers vs. Mahomes from their scheduled release commercial. And now, we're at present time. Where do you guys think Aaron Rodgers will go? It is crazy to me that this relationship was rocky from the start. Even throughout the winning, there was still a lot of divide in the Packers organization. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe while you were down there. Alright, I'll see you guys next time.